let me watch also. Oh, very far away they are looking after Prahlad Maharaj and Nishimhri. Oh, he was so furious that flames from his face were coming here and there. And he was that, that time very angry, so much angry. So, Brahma and Sankar, they told to Lakshmi Dev, we cannot go to him to pacify him. Please, you should go. Oh, at that time, I can. I myself I can. Then they told to Prahlad, Oh, son Prahlad, you should pacify your father, Krishna Dev. Oh, without fear, he ran away and jumped in the laps of Krishna Dev. Now Nishim Dev at once, at once, became like a fire who was in flame, like <laughs> extinguished. Often oh, he jumped in the lap of Nishim Dev, oh, his all anger and everything went on, and tears in eyes coming. It was coming on the head of Pranav. He told to Pranav, Ocean Prahlad, I am made late and you have to suffer so much. You have. Now I want that I should give some benediction to you because my darshan is amok. So I want to give you something. Prahlad Maharaj told, Oh, very little baby, like five years, but very bold. So told, he told, I am not a businessman to take anything. Oh, like some dollars and giving and taking some. I am not like a business person. Those who are like business, they are really not bhav. Krishna has also told, I have told you so many times. So we should not oh, ask anything from Krishna. Love is, that love is love, pure love. Oh, loves want to give always everything to love her, to love her. So we should try to serve him without any self gain. Then that oh, transcendental love can come to your heart. So don't ask for him. He knows everything. He will do automatically what he wants. So don't uh, make any, uh, ask any bone or anything. Then he told that, I am not business man, I don't want to take anything. <coughs> then he told that, even I want to give you. He told that, you should give me a bone, that my all worldly desires should go away. Oh, there are gone, nothing to give like this. So you should ask another one. Then he told that my father should be liberated. Oh, your father is liberated already. Because if a devotee like you, Uttam Mahabhagavatam, then twenty-one generation are liberated. And if Madhyamatikari is really, then fourteen generation. And if a devotee, even Kanist, but very strong, Kanist even, chanting name, then his Seven days generation. So don't you worry, father. Your father has been married. After that, he told that even you should ask anybody. Then he told that I know that all world, all the persons, jivas, are very unfortunate to forget you. And now, from life to life, they are suffering. I want to take all these sufferings and to test it forever and instead of that all the persons should be liberated, you should give them uh, benediction. Then he told that, oh, I am giving this home, that not all, but those who were, who are always uh, discussing this very past tense of myself and your they will be liberated and they will be in Guru Vrindavan. So if anyone is here and be like Prahlad, even not Prahlad, but even hearing, oh Krishna will give some benediction that he will be next time, but 
he will be pure devotee. And after that gradually he will develop. Gaur Pranam. Now you should be ready. Just now. Oh, your drama should come. So that oh, when there is light, in this we will do drama. And after that, at once Abhishek and all the other things will come. Himself was in the mood of Rukmini. He was dancing in Mayapur, Chandrasekhar Bhavan. All, all were charmed, almost all were. They forget that where we are, who am everything. So, this is also a tradition of Indian, especially this is South Indian culture. Also, that so many kinds of they can show you uh, Dashavata dance also. Or Krishna, in, at the time of baby, where uh, stalling butter here and there, they can uh, play so many dances. Uh, but if she is here, she can produce another day uh, some dance uh, regarding Krishna. Mm. Wow. Pure Indian Vedic dance like this. We like it. We 
cannot give you anything. Only the blessings we can do. A drama, exactly, I'm very happy. Mm. Our drama should be like this. <laughs> and some instructions should come out. So my heartly blessing first to my Bharat Prabhu. Yeah. Uh, I taught all the, his family. His daughter wrote and directed everything. Yes. yes. Ah, I know. He has, his daughter has learned everything from my daughter. Yeah. All credit goes to my daughter. <laughs> also, I thought that. Uh, the son of Mahabharat cannot uh, play the role of Hiranyakashipu, but very expert he is. <laughs> very expert. <laughs> you can keep the line of your father, <laughs> but be devotee like him, sincere devotee. Oh, I'm very happy that his son-in-law, not son-in-law, son. Oh, what name? Sridam Prabhu. Oh, he can play any role of anything. <laughs> very expert. I'm proud of a disciple like Sridam. So you should follow the rules and regulations of a pure devotee. I want that you should be a very high class of devotee. Especially, oh, the daughter, perhaps the youngest daughter. Youngest daughter? No, you should stand up. Oh, Extremely good. <laughs> huh? Oh, very good. And I think that is in future she will be a very high class of devotee. <laughs> Follow the lines of Prahlad Maharaj. Very strong, never to fear. Oh, always say straight things about devotion of Krishna. You know, her, you know, whole life you should be like that. So my blessings to you. And where are Sanda Marka? Sanda Marka? Sanda and Marka. Very good. Very good. The elder Sanda. Oh. The son of my eldest son. Oh, very good. He knows so many things. So you should be a pure devotee. And yourself, your name? Yeah. Yes, very good. I'm very happy by you, your play, your part play. And then. Oh, Narad, where is Narad? Narjani! Jai! Upanishad, name. Very good. You should be like Narad. A very good, high class of devotees. Jai! And who was he? You? Brahma. Oh, Lord Brahma. Oh. Well. And, 
and more. Oh, where are four? Sanat Kumars, Sanandan and all. Sanandan, oh, Sanandan. Oh, they are. Oh, well. And Sanat Kumars? Oh, they are four. You should be try to. Uh, and Sanandan? Oh. Oh, you, you, you should do it. Oh, yeah. And Sanat Kumar, your? Oh. And Sanat Kumar, your? Oh, yeah. My blessing to you. <laughs> and where is the mother of Pranad Maharaj? Kayadhu. Where? Uh, very good. Thank you. And next week, very good. And others? Oh, Pranad friends. Where? They are. Uh, very good. Don't follow demons. <laughs> no? You don't follow. You should follow Prahlad. <laughs> Jai Vijay. Where are Jai Vijay? Jai Vijay. Oh, very good. And never should be like Jai Vijay. Always thinking what my Prabhu wants. How to fulfill the desire of my Lord, Radha and Krishna? This is Bhakti Mandi. Not thinking of own, always thinking, how we can please Krishna? Oh Radhika! So this is the first thing in devotion. So we should all try to please Radha and Krishna. But you cannot, oh first, begin from, charity begins from home. So. We should try to do it from oh, Gurudev and your devotees. Try to follow totally. Don't go towards destruction, that is sense gratification. From beginning, you are like children. You should chant and remember. Holy name of Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I'm a street beggar, what can I give you? I cannot give you any worldly thing, but I can give the blessings of Krishna. That you should be a oh, very good devotee. Krishna should respond to your his mercy to you, and you should be a very high class of devotee. Gaur Pramad! Ready for Abhishek of Sri Nishankade. Of our friend, he also come here. And you saw the
almost all the devotees they have so much respect for Govardhan and so many Govardhan silas are anyhow with them and they are worshipping. But really why our Sampradaya has accepted Giriraj Govardhan? We should know his tattva, Govardhan tattva, who he is. So we should know. And if we worship him, what process be there? What process we should follow? And if you are worshipping, what should be our goal? What to have any prayer from him? Shamrani should speak something about these questions. Stand up. You can come here inside. Om Ajnanam Timiram Dasya Gyanam Jana Salagya Taksu Militam Yen Tasma Yusri Yudhyam Nama As with all Ista Devs, as with all worshipable deities, we follow our disciplic line in order to know how to worship anyone. So we learn from Sri Sanatana Goswami in his Brihad Bhagavatamrita how to worship Giri Govardhan. He says that Giri Govardhan is addressed by the gopis and we are followers of the gopis. He is addressed by the gopis as Hari Dasa Varya, as the best of the servants as Hari. He can also be worshipped as Hari and he can be worshipped as Hari Dasya. However, Hari, Krishna, cannot give Krishna Prem like those who have Krishna Prem can give. The servants, the devotees of Krishna have Krishna Prem. And our prayojana, our goal, is not Krishna. Kansa's goal was Krishna, but he had no bhakti and he was a demon. So our goal is not Krishna, but Krishna Prem. So we can get Krishna Prem from those who are devotees. If we worship Giri Govardhan as the devotee, then he can give us Krishna Prem in that form. So Sri Sanatana Goswami is praying that Hari, Hari Dasya Varya, Govardhan, Giri Govardhan is worshipped as Hari Dasya Varya by the gopis. He's worshipped by the Vedas as the tilak marking of Braj, that is the best devotee. So all of our authorities confirm the same thing. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami is also our authority. And he prays that Srimati Radhika herself personally gave Giriraj Govardhan the name Hari Dasya Varya. Hari Dasya is servant, just like uh, Maharaj Yudhisthira is a servant of Krishna, so much so that Narad Muni went to his house not to see Krishna but to see him and glorify him. Even a greater devotee is Udhav, Hari Dasavar. He's a very great devotee, more intimate than Maharaj Yudhisthira because Krishna trusted him to go to Braj to console his parents and the gopis. Yudhisthira Maharaj was never sent to Braj. And he wanted Uddhav to share with him his sufferings of separation from the gopis. But Haridasavarya, the very, very topmost devotee of Hari, of Krishna, is Giri Govardhan. He is the most intimate and he serves in the most intimate ways. As Srila Gurudev just prayed, 
प्रमर मरण वीला कंदरे कंदरे थे रोचयतम नव जनो दंद मंदम इति किल कलनाथ लग्न कस्त दयो मे निज निकति निवासम दे गोवर्धन थम रघुनाथ दास को स्वामी इज प्रेम ओ गोवर्धन थ्रू आउट द ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स ऑफ द डे इन योर केव्स एंड कुंजस यू आर नॉट ओनली विटनेसिंग बट फेसिलिटेटिंग द मोस्ट कॉन्फिडेंशियल पास टाइम्स ऑफ राधा एंड कृष्णा एंड देर एसोसिएट्स so i beg you that you will please give me residence near you so that i can also witness and serve their pastimes so in this way we follow our authorities shall this one not chakrabody thakur in his prayers to govardhan has similar message he is praying for the service of govardhan and for the service of radha and krishna through the mercy of govardhan that you facilitated and witnessed the dan keli pastimes of radha and krishna where they quarreled they had a so called lovers quarrel and where they quarrel over the taxes and whose property uh vrindavan is so in this way we follow our authorities our guru parampara to know how to worship govardhan not as hari but in his form as hari das varya even more so we understand that giri raj govardhan is the manifestation the fractional manifestation of the heart of shrimati radhika only in existence is that supreme absolute truth radha and krishna and she is the complete swarup shakti <coughs> or complete facilitator of krishna's pleasure so she expands in order to give krishna pleasure in different ways she expands as yoga maya as mother yasoda as the gopis as the queens as the lakshmis in so many ways even as the dam even as baladev so she expands in her beautiful madhurya love as giri govardhan so ultimately even more than hari das varya he is a sakhi because only the sakhis or gopis can witness the most confidential pastimes of radha and krishna in the kunjas and caves even the most intimate sakas subal arjun cannot witness these pastimes so why is govardhan in the form of stone the stone the being stunned is one of the symptoms of astaka asta satvika bhav or the eightfold ecstatic symptoms of love So Giri Raj Govardhan is so stunned in seeing these beautiful pastimes which he himself has facilitated by becoming the caves and kunjas that he is now like stone and in that way he can witness the pastimes and Radha and Krishna don't feel uh encumbered or embarrassed by anyone else seeing them <coughs> because after all he only appears as stone So Giri Raj Govardhan can be worshipped in more and more intimate ways for more and more advancement in Krishna consciousness. Thank you. Om Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He wanted to worship Giri Raj in what way? Govardhan Raya. राधिकाय कृष्णभक्ताय तद्भक्ताय नमो नम वेन श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु वु स्टे इन जगन्नाथपुरी एट दैट टाइम रघुनाथ दास को स्वामी वुज ओसो देर अंडर द गाइडेंस एंड प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ श्री स्वरूप दामोदर एंड अदर्स वंस One devotee returned from Braj, Sri Shankaranya, Sh- Shankaranya Saraswati, and he bought one Govardhan Shila and Gunja Mala, and he gave them to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Every day, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would chant Hari Nam, holding the Govardhan Shila to his heart, sometimes on his eyes, 
sometimes on the top of his head, sometimes smelling that shila. And this shila was never dry because it was always moistened with the tears of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, after serving, worshipping this Govardhan Shila for some time, he called Raghunath Das Goswami. Oh Raghunath, I want to give you something. He gave him this Govardhan Shila and he told him, this Shila, this Govardhan Shila is Krishna Kalevar. It is the very body of Krishna himself. So you should worship this Govardhan Shila every day doing sattvic puja in the mode of goodness very easily you should keep on one uh, platform wooden platform and taking one jug of water and you should take eight very soft and fragrant tulsi manjaris with two leaves on either side and in this way you should do uh, abhishek of giraj and offer eight tulsi leaves eight, eight uh, tulsi manjaris with two leaves on either side so, Raghunath Das, he began to worship Giraj in this way. After some time, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him, Oh, now I want you to offer some kaja, some sweets every day. When you offer these sweets to Govardhan, then they'll become like nectar, more than nectar. So, under the guidance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Swarup Dhamara, Raghunath Das Goswami began to worship Giraj Govardhan. Now, Raghunath Das Goswami himself expressed his own realization. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave him this Govardhan Shila, he was thinking, Oh, by giving me this Govardhan Shila, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is giving me a place, a transcendental home where I, where I will stay. And by giving me this Gunjamala, this matter of small berries, he has given me into the service of the lotus feet of Shrimati Radharani. So even though we see that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he said, oh this Govardhan Shila is Krishna Kalevar. <coughs> Still, Raghunath Das Goswami, in many places, he expressed his realization that, oh Govardhan, you are Haridas Avarya. Giri Nirpa Haridas Asreni Variyati Namam Ritamidamuditamshi Radhika Bhakta Chandat Oh, Giri Nirpa Haridasa Sreni Variyati Nama. Your name is Haridasa Varya, the best of the servants of Hari. And where did this name come from? Amritam Idamuti Tam Sri Radhika Bhakta Chandra. This name, this title, it came directly from the lips of Shrimati Radharani. Also in his manner shiksha, he's saying, Vishakam Shikshali Gurutve Priyasaro Grinda Tat Prakshala Litara Tidaktu Smaramana. Oh my dear mind, don't forget this thing. Always worship Giraj Govardhan. Why? Because Giraj is that personality by whose mercy one can have the darshan of the pastimes of Radha and Krishna and attain the jewel of Rati, deep attachment for their lotus feet. So, from the evidence of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, from the evidence of <coughs> Raghunath Das Goswami's own writings, we see that there is some provision to worship Giraj Govardhan as Krishna himself. There's no doubt about it. In Srimad Bhagavatam also, when all the bridge basses did Anukut Mahotsav, at that time Govardhan assumed a very large form, like Krishna and accepting everything like Supreme Lord. So this is very good. But we see many great Vaishnavas in our line, they worship Govardhan as Hari Dasa Vardhya, the servant of Hari, not as Hari himself. <coughs> so there is also evidence for this. How can we reconcile these things? So it is very easy. Uh, Srila Gurudev has given a simple example. We know Baldev. Who is Baldev? He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. It is a fact. He is Vishnu Tattva, Almighty Supreme Lord, and non different from Krishna. This is true. Yet, at the same time, Baldev is Das. He is also the servant of Krishna. And at the same time, all those who will go very deeply, they will know that Baldev, in order to serve 
the lotus feet of Krishna in all rasas, especially to serve Him in Madhurya Ras, Baldev has become Ananga Manjari. So in the same way, Giraj Govardhan, anyone may see Him as the Supreme Lord Hari Himself. It is not incorrect. And anyone who may go deeper, they may see Him as Hari Dasavarja, the best servant of Hari. And those who go so deep, they will think that uh, Giraj Govardhan is like Saki of Srimati Radhika, having a female form in which to serve. Why? In the caves and kunjas of Govardhan, Giraj is seeing all the sweetest pastimes of Radha and Krishna. Who can see them? Can any male form be there? Can any male person be there and serve at that time? It is quite impossible. Srila Gurudev gave an example once. In our Guru Gayatri, we see there Krishna Anandaya. Who is giving pleasure to Krishna? That means Krishna Himself. And Krishna, Shivati Radharani. So if Gurudev is Krishna Anandaya, giving pleasure to Radha and Krishna both, then how can Guru have a male form? So surely, this mantra is for remembering and praying for the mercy of Guru in Saki form as a maidservant of Shimati Radharani. So in the same way, the various conceptions of Giraj Govardhan can be reconciled. One other thing to consider, and that is that there are two types of mercy. One type of mercy, that is called Bhagavat Prasajaja Kripa, the mercy which comes from Bhagavan himself. And another kind of mercy, Bhakta Prasajaja Kripa, the mercy which comes from the devotees. So Krishna, He is Vishay Bigraha. He is the object of love and affection. He has so much love. But the devotees who love Him, they are the Ashway Vigraha, the abode of love. Srimati Radharani's love is so high that Krishna Himself, He cannot understand it. He had to come in this world as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to try to have some idea of what kind of love was in the heart of Radharani. So, we see in the Bhavishya Purana, there is a verse. There it is stated, Manasa prakrite jato giri govardhano mahan. Where has Giraj Godan come from? Was he brought to Brajmandal by Hanuman? Oh, this story is there in Puranas, and it's true. Or was he brought to uh, Brajmandal from by Agastya Rishi? Pulastya Rishi? Oh, this story is also there. Oh, but especially our chariots have given this commentary. Manasa Prakite Jato Giri Govardhan Mahan. Giraj Govardhan has manifested directly from the heart of Shimati Radhika in order to uh, facilitate their highest and sweetest pastimes. So Rupa Goswami has written Vaikuntaj Janito Bara Madhapuri Tatra Pirat Sotavat Brindaran Yamudara Pani Ramanat Tatra Pi Govardhanaha. Radha Kundami Hapi Gokula Pate, Premam Mitam Pra Plavanat, Koreada Syagirik Tato Sevam Viveki Nakaha. Mature is higher than Vaikunta and higher than Mature is Brindavan. But higher than Brindavan is Govardhan. And the highest place of all, oh, that is also at Govardhan. One place at Govardhan, that is Radha Kund. So in this way, Giraj is serving and providing the playground and facilitating the most wonderful and beautiful pastimes of Radha and Krishna and therefore is very dear to them. If we can uh, pray for the mercy of Giraj, following the prayers and moods in the footsteps of our chariots, especially Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami and Vishwanath Chakra Thakur, then Giraj is so kind, he can bestow upon us the darshan of the highest and most wonderful pastimes and the chance to serve the lotus feet of Shimanti Radhika at that time.
Raj is the oh, highest class of Hari Das Ovarija. What meaning? He is the highest in of all the servants of Radha and Krishna. What should be the quality of Haridas? If Haridas is servant, devotee, he must have some qualities. So what he does? And how can we follow him? Oh, everywhere it has been given. Thala jala thala shushpai bhuru achaya cha pati pati anukalam hanta shambar dena ja Tui jagati nija gotram saartha kan khapyan me nija nikat nivasam dehi go bhar That he gives everything. He is sustained in all ways to Krishna. Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapitam Jaina Bhutale Shwayam Rupa Hakada Mahyam Tada Shishpana A Guru Shishya, Guru Sheva, the servant of the Guru, must know all the modes of his Guru. If he does not know, how can he serve? He can never serve. Or if Gurudev is um, telling to his servant, I am very thirsty and he is giving fan. <laughs> he is doing opposite, then he is really not servant. So we should know the wish and heart of our Gurudev and then we can serve. If a disciple, oh, he has not this quality, really he is not a disciple or Shiva. He may be Shiva, but not first class, second class. He may be third class bogus. <laughs> Sometimes doing Against the will of Gurudev, what is this? If any disciple is making so many problems for Gurudev, like Ramachandra, uh, Puri, or he was disciple of Madhvendra Puri, but always making some problem for his Gurudev. And Gurudev, what did? I don't want to face, see your face in my life. Bogus, you should go away from me. And, on the other hand, Ishwar Puripat, who knew the heart of Madhvendra Puripat, always fulfilling the desire of his Gurudev. Really, he is disciple and sevak of Madhvendra Puripat. And Madhvendra Puripat, he gave all that he has, all devotion, everything, he manifested in the heart of Ishwar Puripat. So the disciple, knowing the heart of his Gurudev, and he is not serving in that way, then he should decide himself that who is he. Will Gurudev oh, or give his mercy, full mercy, and his whole <laughs> mood to that disciple? He deserves no quality for that. So, what are the problems of Gurudev that a disciple may give? If he is always running after sense gratifications, 
not away with him totally. Then he is not a real disciple. Govardhan, what doing? What doing Govardhan? He knows all the desire of Krishna. If you want to please your Gurudev, no? Oh, this question was done by oh, Srimati Lalita to Srimati Radhika. If he want to please Krishna, then what should we do? If anyone's very dearest to Krishna, if we will serve him or her, then Krishna automatically will be happy. What I told? Uh, not question like she suggested. What? Where is? Where is? Uh, if you want to please Krishna, then? Then you have to serve to, uh, to please Krishna. <coughs> to serve whom Krishna like more, most. Understand? To serve that person who is most dear to Krishna. Yes. If you are going, oh, most, most dear to Krishna who is? And then you are if serving then Krishna automatically. And if quarreling with Radhika, then what will be? <laughs> Similarly, if Guru is so much, has so much affection and love for any, anyone, then to please Him, we should try to serve that personality. This is the most easy process. And if you are always quarreling, oh then, after some time you will go away. Govardhan always. Serving whom? The highest beloved of Krishna, or Radhika. So many. Not, not only that, those who are related with Krishna in any way, Govardhan has so much honor for them. For cows, Krishna no, Govardhan knows. All the cows are very much dear to Krishna. Himself, himself, without soul, without what? Without umbrella. Without anything, he follows cows. He gives water to cows. He never have any danda for cows. <laughs> His stick is for demons. To serve cows, not for cows and coughs that he will be there. Never. Himself, he gives water to their lotus feet and washes in all ways. So, Govardhan knows all these things. So he serves cows. How? By Manshi Ganga, Kusum Sarova, so sweet water for cows. Green, Cross is for everywhere. Not only green, very tasteful, sweet, and very smooth. <laughs> very smooth. And Krishna research, research where, in what land, all these grasses are there. 
near Govardhan, in one Sikanka near, on the top of Govardhan. For his companions, covered by us, what he gives? Oh, so many fruits, everywhere, mango, jackfruit, hmm? or oh, kamla, that is, orange, orange. angur, angur means grapes, grapes. grapes. Hmm? so many fruits, <coughs> so many fruits. To decorate them, oh, so many kinds of colors. If you go to Govardhan, where we go and do Abhishek, there are some hidden oh, Govardhan Sila. If you do like this, color may come. Only by hand. Right? Only by hand. And these colors are for decorating Krishna, his covered boys, for cows, even for gopis. For gopis, for so many groves, so many kunja, so many caves for them, so many juices there. Oh, deers with very fragrant kasturi. Naturally, oh, all the Govardhan Shila have this fragrance. If you will go and see, oh, Giriraj Govardhan, oh, very fragrant. Like Kasturi Mrigat is there. So he serves all the friends, all the cows, all the covered boys, and all, and gives them fruit, vegetables, <coughs> fragrant, all this, so many things, and call us, Thala jala tala saspai bhuru hachayaj. He is Govardhan. Govardhan means, by serving cows, cows are increasing in number, in number. Giving how much milk? Not only 40 kilo or like this, 40 liters. Unlimited milk. <laughs> <laughs> only know that. Oh, they can fulfill all your wishes. Kama denu, more than kama denu, all are. So Govardhan serves all, top to bottom to all. In Braja, always worshipping Indra. And one day, Pajasoda Mother was very busy in preparing so many preparations. In all and each gopis, <coughs> all were busy. Krishna went to her, his mother, told her, Mother, I am very hungry. Perhaps you are preparing all these things for me. <laughs> then Srimati Radhika and Mother Jasodashi became some. Oh, go away from here. <laughs> go to your father, not here. <laughs> Naughty boy. Then Krishna became upset and he came like a sad boy and in the lap of his father. Oh, he told like this, Father, what mother is doing? She is not in a good mood. <laughs> then he told, Oh, all we are preparing for, to worship Indra. Krishna, as if he is not knowing anything, Baba, who is Indra? <laughs> and why we worship? We can worship anyone who can give so many things to us. <coughs> so why we are worshipping him? He told that, oh, Indra can give rain. By rain, all kinds of grains can come. Crosses can come. Water can come. Without that, we cannot maintain our life. So, each year we do on this same day, 
tomorrow <coughs> to be true. We will all go with so many preparations, lakhs and lakhs cards. Four cards. We will keep it and we will go to Govardhan Giriraj in the middle of the Govardhan. And we will worship. He told that, Baba, I think where there is no Indra Puja, <coughs> where there is rain or not rain, and all are maintaining their lives or not. He told that, that I don't know. So why you should know all these things? I think it would be better to worship Giriraj Govardhan. Govardhan, he, by his mercy, we maintain our lives. Our life and soul is cows. And Govardhan gives so much good grosses, soft grosses, Oh, very pure water. And everything. <coughs> and He supports us. So why not uh, we should try to do the puja of Giraj Govardhan? Nand Baba has no, no any logic. And by logic Krishna told him to that, oh, we should all tomorrow will worship Giraj Govardhan. Next day, on thousands and thousands of cords were called and all the preparation was kept in. From all over, 84 crores of them all came assembled in Giraj Govardhan, where now is Govardhan town, in the middle. And they were worshipping offering all these things to Giriraj Govardhan as we did. This was very, very, very mini worship of Giriraj Govardhan, but exactly like this. Thousand and thousand, all the cows of the whole Govardhan were there and they were worshiping. All were worshiping cows. And after that, they worshiped, oh, Guru, Vaishnav, Brahmins, all was done. And after that, they offered all these things. And they saw Krishna was telling, Oh Baba, oh Brajvasis, my friends, oh, look after that. Giriraj Govardhan, <coughs> oh, in a shape he is there. And with a long, long <coughs> arms. So many arms and he is taking everything from here, from there, from there, from there. Oh, very far away. And he was not satisfied, his belly was so big. <laughs> and he told them, Oh, bring up. Ano, ano re, ano re. Means bring more, more, more. I want more. But Krishna, all Brajvasi were. Became king Kartak Devi Mood. Puzzles. Puzzles. That what should I do? We do. But Krishna folded his hand in two hands. And he was four handed. Huh? And he prayed, Oh Prabhu, your belly is so big. We cannot do anything. Hmm. What we have brought, it may be in one leaf, one, one, one pore <laughs> of body. How we can satisfy? We cannot satisfy. Then he took water from where? Manshi Ganga, from Kusam Sarova, Govinda Kunda, all water, and all water came in his mouth. What he has taken? Oh. Krishna asked him that we had brought prasadam, but we have taken. So what should we do? At once they saw that everything is full there. Krishna was telling that. We have, have you, you have worshipped Indra, but we have not seen Indra who is Indra, and how he is taking, how he is satisfying, and how he is giving boon. We have never seen.
पट विया सिंह भी है और वीर राज गोवर्धन हेम सेल्फ इज ही है एंड ही नाउ सेटिस्फाइड एंड ही इज आस्किंग दैट व्हाट मून यू वांट टू यू आई आई कैन गिव यू इफ एनीवन गोइंग टू वीर राज गोवर्धन एंड डूइंग परिक्रमा गोवर्धन इस एनी थिंग ही लाइक्स He can fulfill all desires. Those are worldly desires. They bind a branch, branch of branches of the tree like this. I want to marry a very beautiful girl, very beautiful husband. Oh, quickly! Oh, if you want, your house is. So many story, one thirty or one fifty stories. <laughs> oh, you should keep some bricks or there are stones one after another. How much high you can make it? Oh, give me that. Easily he will go. But when anyone not telling anything and only doing kirtan, Govardhana Jay Giri Dhari. गिरिधारी जय गोवर्धन गिरिधारी जय गोवर्धन Very carefully, very carefully. Not to lusty person. Never, never. Not to worldly sense, make, sense gratification makers. <laughs> Nowadays, it is has become very cheap. I don't want to make this subject cheap. This is the. Most confidential thing which can be only kept in our heart. Mm. I have so many, so many times I have told told my devotees, my sannyasis and brahmachari, to preachers, hey, be very careful about this. This is not a thing to give in. in The fish market, or airport, or anywhere like this. Keep it secret. If anyone has love for another husband, in heart, what I told, what I told. If you have husband, and save me, but in the meantime. You saw any very beautiful, strong personality, and you are attracted any day. Will he tell to this fact to his father, his father, mother, husband, or any friend? So we should try to. Mahaprabhu has told this. Try to come see. Otherwise, this will go and lust will come, and that is going on. I never heard before. Oh. The subject of uh, Govinda Lila Amrita and all, but I saw that oh, all these con devotees, oh, they have translated it, Govinda Lila Amrit, Krishna Bhavan Am. More than that, so many things they have translated and reading, and they know all this. Very wonderful. Now same thing is going on. I want to warn you. Oh. Like Govardhan, he concealed everything. He became a stone, and that is why Radha and Krishna, or all the gopis, are had no shame at all from him. For trees, <coughs> for, for from mountains, hills, rivers, they have life. We know. 
But we know that oh, they will not disclose to others. They are not oh, seeing in this. If in front of mirror you are naked, any harm? Any shame? Nothing. Why? Because mirror is not life, has no life. So Giridharad becomes like this. He never tells all these things. Secret says to anyone. Yeah. So I request my devotees. Oh, they should not uh, speak all these things, high class of self. If they are anyhow, if they are fortunate, they should keep in it. Yeah. And be like Rāramanam, Sarup Dhamoda, like Madhvi Devi, like others. Even Rup Goswami was not there. Raghunath Das Goswami cannot be there. But this custom sasta. And we had make it very, very, very cheap, everywhere in market. What I don't want. Otherwise you will be very lusty. Don't read in this stage all these books. Or you should try to follow what bhakti, vaidhi bhakti. And read Chaitanya Chaitamri. Read all the books. Especially the books of Rupa and Raghunath, Srila Vishwanath, Chakvarti, Thakur, and like Bhakti Vinod Thakur, like all these things. So Prabhupada was very against these things. He knew all these things. That it are the best things. But for beginners, these subjects are to be hidden. So we should try to know all these things. So Giriraj Bhagavatam. He is serving all the cows, cowherd boys and everything. So go. They were doing the uh, arch, um, worship of Giraj Govardhan. And Giraj Govardhan having a form four-handed and he took all. Mm -hmm. And after that, when it was finished, all the goats, Krishna himself, Madhar Jasoda, Nanda Baba, O Vishabhanu Maharaj, Kritika Maya, and all others, they began to do Parikrama of Kirtan. Those who were not uh, so strong to go on fields, for them Bullock out was there. For children, O Malpua, and so many things were they can take and uh, no parikrama, no harm. But we we'll have to follow some rules and regulations. Especially in our Indian culture, mm -hmm. in devotee's culture, we should try to give proper honor to aged person, qualified person, guru varga. Understand? Here I am not seeing anything like that. A oh, very uh, small boys or uh, even very young persons, very young, they can sit on chair on the front of their guardians, their guru and their old persons. Again you should hear, oh, I don't like this that any young person, young lady, they should sit on the chairs in front of their gadgets, their guru varga. Hmm? They are not old, they are not so weak that they cannot come inside and sit. They should give proper respect to our senior Vaishnava. They should oh, give chance to them and they should be given on chair proper with honor. If Krishna is giving so much honor to Baladev and others, Srimati Radhika giving proper respect to their Guruja. Hmm? Once uh, Krishna wanted to meet Srimati Radhika, and any duty told her that, Oh, Krishna is waiting for you, you should come. And in the meantime, Dhanishta came 
or anyone came to Radhika. Oh, Mother Jasoda is calling you for cooking. Both dotis came at the same time. So Srimati Radhika was thinking, what to do? I should go to meet Krishna or I should go to Mother Jasoda to cook. At once she decided and told that I must serve first for Mother Jasoda. He never went to meet Krishna. So we should from beginning, you are, if you are giving proper respect to seniors, <coughs> bhakti may come. And if you are not giving respect to them, and you are setting yourself on the high singhasanam, <laughs> not giving proper respect to them, at the time of taking prasadam, you should make a line, and sukriya should be in a line, and we should be somewhat like this. We should satisfy them, and then we should take prasadam. So we should do all that our Guru Bhatt has done. When Sanatana Goswami is coming, what Rup Goswami is telling? Oh, my Guru Dev has come. And serving Him. And what Sanatana Goswami? Oh, though He is my younger brother, but He is my Guru Dev. Because He serves Srimati Radhika more than me. So giving each other proper respect. If you want to have a bhakti pure, you should follow Giraj Govardhan. How he sucks all top to bottom who are very dear to Krishna. According to this dearness, oh, he serves all. So, according to this, oh, you should serve all. Krishna ika jasya bhati, Krishna iti jasya, manasatriyeta dikshastri cheta panat bhishya bhajan tamisham sussursya bhajan vidya manandya manandya. Ninda Vishunya. Those who are chanting, we should know that all are our family, family persons. We should give them oh, uh, respect by mind. By mind. Hmm? If anyone not in, has been initiated by anyone, and him chanting them, he never. Uh, goes in the association of any Mayavadi, very far away. And he himself is not lusty or any friend like lusty persons. If he has this quality, oh, we should give proper respect to them by mind, not by doing pranam. Why? Because he cannot tolerate that. Uh, he cannot digest. Then he will see that, oh, I am more than this. Person, more qualified. He will not understand the humility of that Madhya Madhikari person. He will not. So, only by mind you should do. And those who have taken diksha really, in real sense, hmm? real sense, oh, the Dipya Jnanam, oh, that is a strong relation with Krishna, transcendental relation we have. And all kinds of anas has been kind then this is diksha. If anyone is dikshit, Vaishnava, oh, by doing pranam. By mind also, by doing pranam. And if he is not criticizing anyone, never. And chanting his renal whole day, night, in continuous line of twenty-four hours, then what should he do? Oh, be servant. Be servant in all respect and by serving associate with that high class of devotee. <coughs> Krishna Bhakti Rasabhavita Mati Kriyatan Kutopijadi Lapyati Tatra Lollamapi Mullyame Kalam Janma Koti Sukrita This is Krishna consciousness. If anyone's heart is saturated by love and affection, like gopis, by any prajvasi, and in, in them, or oh, highest, like gopis, anyone is that. 
آفر اینڈ ڈیز یور سیلف بی فلی سرونٹ اینڈ ٹرائی ٹو فالو یو ٹرائی ٹو ریئلائز ہز ہارٹ دین یور ہارٹ ول آلسو بی سوچیوریٹڈ وتھ لو اینڈ افیکشن آف کرشن دس از کرشن کانسیشن Hey Sharmin, cowherd boys, cows, cops, goats, gopi, anyone related to Krishna. So anyone related to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, related to Krishna, related to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or Srila Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Siddhan Sarswati, my Guru Dev. ओम विष्णु पार्षि श्रीमद भक्ति प्रज्ञान के सौ खुशवाई मैं शिक्षा गुरु ओम विष्णु पार्षि श्रीमद भक्ति वेदांत ट्राई टू रेस्पेक्ट डोंट जंप अदर आर ईगल बर्ड्स आर दे आर दे विल टेक यू आई नो सो मेनी आर हियर दे वांट टू जंप इन स्काई टू हैव दिस दे शुड बी वेरी केयरफुल Very, very careful. Don't jump. Otherwise, lust will come and we will be nowhere. Try to follow Vaidhi Bhakti from beginning and thus far. I pray from Govardhan oh, that he should be merciful to all, not only to me, to all those who have taken part in the archan of Giraj Govardhan. Annakut. By anything, by preparing, by collecting anything, and in Kirtan, anyhow, I pray for him. The mercy of Giraj Govardhan, he should sprinkle his mercy, and he should be a good devotee. Go, Premara! <laughs> Or giving good trainings to all these children <coughs> from all parts. So many devotees are sending the children to learn something, devotion, and also study more things. I will be happy that he will learn all these boys Gita, the slopes of Gita. They cannot understand high class of love of Krishna. In a simple way they can. That Radha Krishna is our worshipable, or that is okay. But high class of these things, even high class of devotees cannot understand. So first, they should be given oh, how they can build their characters very high. Oh, like Gita, like other things. One day I will go to school and you should prepare that what you have oh, taught them. And I will say that I want to listen some Gita slopes, some other things. How they can be a very strong devotees and their character should be very high. But anyhow, I am very happy that they are studying well and you have made them so qualified that they are doing the pastimes of Krishna. But give more 
preference to build their characters very high. They should be a, they should chant, they should remember like Pranad Maharaj and others. And thus I'll be have very happy. More children will come and we will try to help you in all respect that they should be studied more things. Go Pramana.